Two airplanes carrying approximately 400 Oklahoma Army National Guard soldiers landed in Mississippi this week, marking the beginning of the end of a year-long tour in Afghanistan. General Miles Deering, the Adjutant General for Oklahoma, was first in a long line to greet the 45th Infantry Brigade combat team soldiers as they stepped off the plane. He said it's important that they know how much their service is appreciated and how proud he is to be there to welcome these heroes home. I want these heroes to know that's exactly what they are. And uh, it's important enough for them to serve our country. It's important enough for them to put their lives on the line. It certainly should be important enough for me to be here. Once the hundreds of duffel bags and other gear was offloaded from the planes, the groups boarded buses and made an hour-long drive to Camp Shelby to begin the vital demobilization process. Though most soldiers are eager to get back home to their family and friends, they realize this short time spent at Camp Shelby is necessary and will benefit them in the long run. After a year-long separation, it's a crucial step in the soldiers' reintegration back into their daily lives. Demob, I think, is necessary for everyone. It gives uh, all the soldiers a chance to uh, wind down, get ready to inter become uh, interactive with their families. It, it's important because they need to finish just like they started. And uh, we need to make sure that each one of these soldiers are taking care of their needs and, and, uh, and, their, and whatever issues they have are taken care of before they leave here. But, and uh, it's not impossible when they get back home, but it's more difficult. And uh, these guys have been through some tough time, and these, these ladies too. And uh, we just need to make sure that all their needs and concerns are taken care of. So when we get them back home, we get them back home as whole as possible. To ensure these needs are met, the demobilization process addresses the soldier's overall health with medical, dental, and mental health checks and screenings. According to Colonel Rob Darling, the officer in charge of the dental section, the treatment of these soldiers' issues doesn't necessarily stop once they leave Camp Shelby. So even if they don't get fixed here at the MOB site or at the DMOB site, there's uh, programs in place back home at the unit level. Along with the health checks and screenings, soldiers are also educated on services and programs available back at home to help make the soldier to civilian transition much smoother. Services such as those offered by the Veterans Administration and other government resources. The entire DMO process for each group coming through is approximately five to six days, something seen as a positive by Specialist Josh Arias. It's, uh, it's really been sped up from what it used to be. And he recognizes the process's value in receiving treatment for any injuries or addressing issues encountered during the deployment. Uh, I know you see you have to do, and, and plus to get fixed, it's, it's a really good thing. So. Another step in the process and a welcome sign that their tour of duty is coming to an end is the turning in of all the combat gear that they depended on overseas. Items turned in by the soldiers range from protective vests and armored plates to ammo pouches and canteens. Once the entire process is complete, the next step for these soldiers is the long awaited trip home and being reunited with their families. It's just great to have our soldiers home and I can't wait till they get back in the arms of their, their family and friends and, and back to doing the things they want to do because they've, they've done what we've asked them to do for a year. It's important they get back to doing what they want to do now. These soldiers are the second and third of an estimated nine groups who are returning home in phases from their deployment in Afghanistan and Kuwait. All of the more than 3,000 deployed soldiers are expected to be back in the United States by late March. From Camp Shelby, Mississippi, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Larissa Copeland. It's just great to have our soldiers home, and I can't wait till they get back in the arms of their, their family and friends and, and back to doing the things they want to do, because they've, they've done what we've asked them to do for a year. It's important they get back to doing what they want to do now. It's important because they need to finish just like they started. And uh, we need to make sure that each one of these soldiers are taken care of their needs and, and, uh, and, their, and whatever issues they have are taken care of before they leave here. And uh, it's not impossible when they get back home, but it's more difficult. And uh, these guys have been through some tough time, and these, these ladies too. And uh, we just need to make sure that all their needs and concerns are taken care of. So when we get them back home, we get them back home as whole as possible. Oh, just a, it's, a, it's a great feeling to know that they're finally coming back home after a, a long nine months and, and, and a tough rotation to know that, uh, that they're coming back home to their families and, uh, and their friends is just a, it's an enormous feeling I can't explain. First of all, I want, I want these heroes to know that's exactly what they are. 
and uh, it's important enough for them to serve our country, it's important enough for them to put their lives on the line, it certainly should be important enough for me to be here. Just that I'm glad to be home. Uh, I can't wait to see my husband and uh, really excited to be here. DMOB I think is necessary for everyone. It gives uh, all the soldiers a chance to uh, wind down, get ready to inter become uh, interactive with their families. So So even if they don't get fixed here at the MOB site or at the DMOB site, there's uh, programs in place back home at the unit level. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, I, uh, I know you see you have to do, and, and plus to get fixed, it's, it's a really good thing, so. It is what it is, I mean, it's, uh, it's really been sped up from what it used to be, so I guess it's a good thing.